Welcome to the 11:30 service. Nasa Jujan York for this. So glad to be talking to you today. We're in 2021. <laughs> we made it. Congratulations. You made it through 2020. Hey, I'm believing that this year is going to be an incredible year for us all. Because I know last year there was many. Ups and downs and highs and lows. But you know what? There's many things that I'm also thankful for. And this year, I'm also hopeful. I'm excited for this year, guys. I'm excited for all the amazing things God is going to do. I'm praying for them. I'm believing for them. And so today, I'm looking forward to sharing with you guys a message that will help us start the year strong. So let me read this scripture in Proverbs 11, verse 24. It says the world of the generous gets larger and larger and the world of the stingy gets smaller and smaller. Today's message title is this. 2021. Year of the generous or the stingy. I think we all want our world to get larger and larger. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> right? I don't know anyone out there, if you ask them, would you want your world to get smaller and smaller? They'd be like, yeah. <laughs> so today I want to talk about this. I want us to make a decision at the beginning of the year to be people of generosity. <laughs> I want to be known for my generousness. Because I don't think people, anyone wants to be known for being stingy. So I'm working on, you know, small things like sharing my potato chips with Melissa. <laughs> if you don't like sharing food out there, let me know in the comment section you have a friend. <laughs> but believing this year will get larger and larger. <laughs> so let's not be stingy. Because stingy, it just stingy. It sounds bad, right? <laughs> In any language, right? Stingy. Catch. <laughs> In Spanish, I learned it's called Amarado. 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 But the opposite, generous. Generous. <laughs> Sounds great. So let's be people who are generous. So how can we stay generous in these uncertain times? I'm glad you asked because I got three points for you. The first point is that we need to continue to sow the seed. Despite our circumstances. Let's read the scripture in Matthew 13, verse 3 to 8. This is a parable that Jesus told. He says, A farmer went out to plant some seeds. As he scattered them across the field, uh, some seed fell on a footpath, and the birds came and ate them. Other seed fell on shallow soil with underlying rock. These seeds sprouted quickly because the soil was shallow. But the plants soon wilted under the hot sun and since they didn't have deep roots, they died. Other seeds fell among thorns that grew up and choked out the tender plants. Still, other seed fell on fertile soil and they produced a crop that was 30, 60, even 100 times as much as had been planted. Yeah, 
ました。Yeah. Fantastic. This is a very famous story. これ結構有名なストーリーです。And I think this is a great picture for us going into 2021. 2021年に向けていいね光景だと思う。Because I know 2020 was a difficult year for Uh, I say everyone. <laughs> ね、みんな、まあ、いろんな人にとって、多くの人にとって2020年って大変な1年だったと思う。And a lot of that was well. その大変さっていうのもね、その困難の中は金銭面であったかも。And so this story is really、interesting. だからこのストーリー、興味深いんです。Because the sower, he planted and it landed on four different types of soil. 種をまいた人は4つの違ったタイプの土にまかれたんです。But out of those four types of soil, only one type of the soil produced fruit. でもその中の1つだけしか実を結ばなかったんです。That's four in one, twenty-five percent. That's quick math. それ4分の1ということは二十五パーセントです。Quick math. ねえ、もう数学。<笑>半数レベルですね。数学,数学,数学です。数学。It sounds low, right? ね、ちょっと低いなって思うかも。But that good soil produced a harvest that was greater than what was planted in the beginning. でもね、最初に巻いた時にそのいい土地っていうのはもっと多くの実を結んだんです。So the seeds sown in the hardest times produce the most fruitful and the most rewarding crop. だから大変な時に巻いた種っていうのが一番大きな実何倍にもなるということです。Uh, Pastor Rod shared a story in the past recently about when we lived in Toowoomba, there was a, there's lots of farms in Australia. <laughs> right? Anyone been to a farm before? Well, there's lots of farms in Toowoomba. And there was、uh, this one family named the Wooldridges. <laughs> and they were an incredible family. They were always、uh, generous and always joyful. Uh, but at that time, there w a s seven years of drought in Australia. その時ね、7年間の水不足があったんです。And there was a, one, one of those, the, those years, they, they looked at the, the weather reports and were like, should we plant our seed? Should we not? ある1年でね、もうそのね、みんなウォーズリフィッシュするんだ。<笑>なんだっけ、名前。<笑><笑>ウォルジュウォルダリジさんたちがね、<笑>天気予報を見ながら、まこうかな種をどうしようかなって言ってたんです。Right? And they were like, oh, we're not sure, but we're gonna plant in faith. わかんないけど、信仰を持って種をまこうって言ったんです。They were the only farmers that planted that year. そこの農業農家の人たちの中で、ね、種をまいたその人たちだけだったんです。Because it costs a lot of money to buy seed and to plant and to hunt. It's, it's a big process. 種を買って、それをまいて、ケアをするなんてお金がかかるんです。And they planted in faith. でも信仰を持って彼らはまいた。That year they had a little bit of rain. そのね1年でちょっとで雨が降ったんです。And with that little bit of rain, their crops grew. でもそのちょっとの雨でそのまいた種っていうのがめっちゃ成長したんです。They had a huge harvest. でめっちゃ大きな収穫があった。And because they were the only ones that planted seed, they were the only one with the crop. ねだからね、種まいたのは1人だけだったから、そこで収穫したのは1人だけだったんです。Which means their sales was 100%. だから売り上げめっちゃアップです。Right? So they, in fact, Because they planted, they received an incredible reward. And with that reward, they paid off seven years of debt. It set them up for a better future. And they used a good chunk of that and they gave to the poor. Incredible story. And I think it goes to show the point that. We gotta keep on sowing. だから、巻き続けなきゃいけないということです。Because these people, they were so, so generous always. もういつも寛大な人たちだった。I remember they would have us over at their farm. ね、その農家に行くと。And I would be able to see different animals. ね、違ったね、その家畜たちがいるんです。See, you know, cows and sheep and got to, you know, like feed the little lamb. ね、牛とか羊とかね、子羊ちゃんたちがいたり。You know, they,、uh, they had even like peacocks. <laughs> eh, peacock got in there. Nihongo nani peacock could there? Eh, peacock. あ、クジャクっていうのピーコック。わ、初めて。キャーってやつね、クジャク。<笑> Just like that. クジャクですね。And they had a huge farm, and I, I would go out on the farm with,、uh, with their son, and we would be on these like ATVs, these four wheel bikes. 牧場に行ってのゴーカートみたいにガーって乗って。Yeah, and go karts, and they had these huge tractors, like massive. めっちゃでかいね、トラクターですね。So it was amazing. They had an amazing farm, and they were always generous, always hospitable. 素晴らしいのか、牧場があって、いつも。And they were blessed. 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 They were bl
されていた。Because in a hard time, they still chose to sow with faith. 大変な時でも信仰を持ってまくっていう決断をしてたから。So what is my point? だから何が言いたいかというと。My point is if you sow nothing, you will reap nothing. 何もまかなければ何も刈り取れないということです。But if you sow something, 何かをまけばでも。Then you will reap something. 何かを刈り取るんです。So let's be committed to being people who sow in faith. だから信仰を持ってまき続ける人になろうよ。The second thing I want to say で二つ目に言いたいのは、is that we need to expect both failure and success. 失敗と成功が両方があることを知るんです。Every time you sow something, these farmers, they took a risk.、ね、この農家の人たちも、ね、リスクを取ってまいたんです。We gotta take some risks. 何かのリスクは取らないといけない。I'm not saying take silly risks.、ね、なんか馬鹿げたようなリスクを取るんじゃなくて。Like the Wooldridges, they, they, they looked at the weather maps, they, they thought, they prayed, they took an educated risk. ウルドリッチさんたちもですね、<笑>この天気予報を見て、でこれなんか解散して信仰を持って祈ってちゃんとしたリスクを取ったんです。And in the parable that Jesus shared, the farmer he took a risk. でこのね農家のねイエスのストーリーの人もリスクを取ってまいたんです。And like I said, 25% of the seed fell on good soil, but the other 75% of those seeds fell on not so good soil. まいた種の 25% はいい土地にまかれたけど、あとの 75% のはそこまでいい土じゃなかったよね。But that didn't stop him from sowing. ねでも彼はまき続けたんです。Because failure is a part of life. 失敗っていうのは人生Disappointment is a part of life. And I know we've all probably had enough experience with failures and disappointments in this past year. <laughs> But I don't want to let that determine how my 2021 is going to look. James 2 17 says this. So also, faith by itself, if it does not have works, Is dead. このように信仰に行いが伴わなければその信仰は死んでも同然です。信じる感想を信頼するよっていうことはできるけど。それを行動に移すのは,移すのはまた違った問題です。ね、この今、ね、特に今ではみんなすぐすぐ欲しいとなるよね。<笑> Uber Eats もうすぐ。We got Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime もうすぐ。Well, we want things. Instantly. But that's not how God works. God takes his time sometimes.、ね、たた But we gotta, we gotta be in it to win it.、ねね、Come on, in it to win it. And I think if we're, if we're always afraid of failing, then we'll never achieve anything. Let me say it again. If we're always afraid of failing, we'll never achieve anything. Let's not live by fear. And I like how you said the,、uh, the worst things because I love Alex's story. <laughs> the worst things are <laughs> Alex's story. <laughs> you know, when they first came to church, Alex he started tithing as a family. They began tithing. And he said that in the first six months of tithing, <laughs> His finances went backwards. <laughs> It's like, wait a minute, that's the opposite of what we preach, what we tell people. <laughs> But Alex was like, yeah. I'm gonna keep tithing. <laughs> And so, because he was faithful, because he took a risk, because he put action with his faith, after that six months, his finances began to go up like he'd never seen before. And anyone that sees Alex or their family would say that they are blessed. Such is doing an incredible job with the kids' church, getting everything online, keeping families connected. Incredible job, guys. Such is doing an incredible job with the kids' church, getting everything online, keeping families connected. Incredible job, guys. Such is doing an incredible job with the kids' church, getting everything online, keeping families connected. Incredible job, guys. Such is doing an incredible job with the kids' church, getting everything online, keeping families connected. <laughs> <laughs> But you know what? Alex took a risk on tithing. And sometimes tithing sounds like a bad risk. <laughs> But if you'd ask Alex, is it worth it? でもアレちゃんにね、やった価値あったって聞くと、He would say, definitely. 絶対にもちろんって言ってくれるはずです。<笑> They are so、blessed. めちゃくちゃ祝福されてるから。And so sometimes I think if we feel like God is withholding from us, we need to ask, 
What are we withholding from God? ねえ、神様、ちょっとなんかくれてないんじゃないのって思ったときに、じゃあ俺たちが言わなきゃいけないのは、神様に全部すべてを尽くしてるかって質問です。Because the world of the stingy gets smaller and smaller. なんでかというと、ケチな人の世界っていうのはどんどんちっちゃくなるから。And I'm not saying, like, go and sell all your possessions, go sell your house and live on the streets. I'm not saying that. <laughs> I'm saying, out of what we have. Not out of what we don't have. Out of what we have. How can we use this to be a blessing? How can we be generous with what we have? Imagine if. if Alex gave up. ね、アレちゃんが諦めてたら、Would he be as blessed as he is today? 今まで今ぐらいに祝福されてたかな。いいな。わ<笑>かんないね。<笑> That's the Australian way of saying no. <笑>ね、ちょっと違うかなっていうことです。<笑>いいな。いや、違うかな。<笑>いいな。あ、ちゃうちゃうってやつですね。If you said yeah, nah, yeah, then the answer is yes. あ、ちゃうちゃう、はい、はい、だってそれ yes なんですね。If you say yeah, nah, the answer is no.、Nah. あ、ちゃうちゃうだったらもうそれ違うってことです。If you say yeah, it's yeah, nah is nah. あ、そう、はい、はい、ちゃう、はい。<笑><笑> We're weird in Australia. I don't know what it is. But, anyway. <laughs> but guys, let's be committed to being generous. Let's not let the experiences of last year, the disappointments that we've had recently, determine. Don't let that set the tone for 2021. I think there's some people watching today that need s to learn to shake off. The disappointments of the past.、ねね、that disappointment is holding you back from taking a new step, from taking a fresh look on life.、ねね、We need to shake off the past.、ね、We need to let God restore our hearts.、ねね、And let God heal you if you need it.、ね、heal you from the past hurt and the past. Disappointment. 過去の痛み過去の失望から癒してもらう。Because this year doesn't deserve your past disappointment to determine what it's going to look like. ね今年過去のせいでまた違くなっちゃったら嫌じゃん。So let's live with faith. だから信仰で生きよう。Let's put, let's dedicate this year to God. Let's put it first. ね今年神様に捧げてこいよ。神様一番にしてこいよ。And let's ask God, let's pray that He would bless this year. 神様は今年を祝福してくれるように求めて祈ってこいよ。Because this Could be the year that you've been praying for.、ね、This could be the harvest you've been wanting.、ね、could be the blessing you've been hoping for for years. It could happen this year, guys.、ね、so let's stay fresh. ままで let's keep our eyes open.、ね And let's let God do something new in our life. And the last point I want to say is don't give up. Don't give up. Galatians 6 9 to 10. 10 A great scripture. So let's not get tired of doing what is good. At just the right time, we will reap a harvest of blessing if we don't give up. Nailed it. ね、正しい行いをするのを疲れ果ててしまわないにしましょう。失望せず諦めずにいれば、何をせずにいれば、諦めずにいればです。やがて祝福を借り取る日が来るからです。Therefore, whenever we have the opportunity, we should do good to everyone, especially those in the family of faith. ですから、機会があるたびに誰に対しても、特に信仰を持つ人たちには親切にしましょう。Come on at just the right time. ですから正しいタイミングで We're gonna reap a harvest of blessing. ね、祝福を刈り取る時が来ます。If、もし、We don't give up. 諦めなければです。Please don't give up. だから諦めないでみんな。I know it's been a hard time. 大変な時を通ってのは分かる。But this でも今年は違った一年です。This is a ね、違った新しいスタートがある。And yes, the pandemic is still here. まあ、パンデミックはまだあるよ。But there's hope. でも希望がある。There's some vaccines coming in the future. 
world, the world might be able to, to heal a little bit this year. ね、世界がちょっと癒され始めるかも。I want to be on the hopeful side. でも希望を持った人のサイドにいたい。I don't want to be on the pessimistic side of saying it's not going to change. We're going to be like this for five years. The government, I don't want to be like that. ね、ちょっと悲観的になってもずっとこうだし、あと5年こうだしてもどんどんバラララみたいな感じにはなりたくないんです。I want to be like God says. 神様がこう言ってるからという人になりたい。I don't want to get tired of doing good. いいことを行え、疲れ果てたくないから。And I want to reap a harvest of blessing. 祝福を刈り取りたいから。But in order to reap, we must first sow. でも刈り取るためには種をまかなきゃいけないんです。And it says, therefore, whenever we have an opportunity, we should do good to everyone. だから機会があるたびにみんなに親切をしなさい。Guys, this month we have an incredible opportunity. 今月も素晴らしい機会があります。We have our heart for missions. このね、ミッションを思う心があるんです。And that's where we, we give a special giving、uh, towards Uh, this month we're really giving towards Tejas Asia. And I loved it at Christmas time. We saw a photo of all the kids wearing like Santa hats. And they filled the hall with these amazing kids having their lunch. Christmas, That's the opportunity that we have. 自分たちのある機会というのはそれです。Those children are the opportunity that we have. この子供たちが自分たちの目の前にある機会です。Because if you think that your year was tough, もしあなたがね、自分の一年大変だったよと思うなら、Can you imagine just how hard it's been for these people in the slums of India? ね、スラム街の子供たち家族はどんだけ大変な思いをしたか、わかりますか Because those kids, they have parents, they have many brothers and sisters. ね、この子供たちね、家族がいてでも兄弟がいっぱいいる。They live in poverty. They have no nationality. They have no rights. They have no education. They have nothing. And then a flipping pandemic hits the world. The pandemic was what? Can you imagine how tough their life has been this past year? This is an incredible opportunity for us. Because though we've had a hard time, and please hear me, I'm not trying to belittle anyone's problem by no means. But all I'm saying is, let's take a new step. Let's have fresh eyes. Let's make a decision to be generous this year. And why not start by giving towards these kids, these are beautiful children that need our help? Because we, may not, we might not see it in our lifetime. But one day, I'm looking forward to when I get to heaven and I get to meet these kids. And they say, Thank you for giving. Because it changed my life. That is my harvest. That is my reward. And I want to share that with everybody. I want all of us to share in the incredible blessings that God has prepared for us. So come on, guys, let's start the year with. Generosity. Let us be known for our generosity. Let this not be a year of stinginess. Let this be a year of giving and blessing. And let's receive God's blessing and harvest together. Fantastic. Let me pray for you guys really quickly. I just want to pray over you that God would bless you this year. And that we would have faith to sow even when we can't see. Let's pray. Yes, God, we thank you for today. We thank you for 2021. It's a brand new year. Full of new opportunities. So, God, I pray we would have fresh eyes to see those opportunities. And anything from the past that's holding us back, God, we just shake that off in Jesus' name. Anyone that's holding hurt or disappointment from the past, I pray they be healed in Jesus' name. I pray the, the past won't hold us back. That we can step into this new year with generosity in our hearts, with hope for a future, 
神様に希望を持って、With hope in our Father. ね、その天のお父さんに希望を持ち、Because we know you are a good Father. あなたはいいお父さんを知ってるから、And you have good things planned for us. ね、いいことを計画してくれてるから、so、we put our faith in you. だから信仰をあなたに置いてきます。We put our actions in that faith. ね、その信仰とともに行動に移して、And we're looking forward to all that you're gonna do, God. あなたがすることすべて楽しみにしてきます。So、we thank you. だからありがとう。In Jesus name. イエスの名によって、Amen. And last group of people I'd like to pray for is anyone who does not yet know Jesus. Maybe you've never accepted him into your life. Or maybe you used to believe in God in the past, but you've fallen away. If you want to come back to God, or if you want to believe in God for the first time today, I want to pray for you that you would accept him into your life. Because 2000 years ago, God gave us the most generous gift ever. His son Jesus came to this earth with the perfect life. He died a terrible death to take our sins, our problems away. And he rose again three days later. Oh, he's alive today. And he wants to help you. He wants to heal you. He wants to birth in you a generous heart. So if you want to accept Jesus into your life today, I'm going to count to three. I'm going to say now. And if that's you, just make that decision in your heart. And we'll pray that God come into your life and absolutely change you from the inside out. Ready? Three, two, one, now. Why don't you accept him into your life right now? Let him fill your heart. Fill it with love. Thank you. Come on, let's praise God. Yeah, all those people who are making those decisions. Let me pray a final prayer over you. Yes, God, we thank you for these amazing people. Thank you that you've come into their life. Thank you that their sins have been taken away. I pray that you'd heal them now. You make them as white as snow. Ready to do amazing things. And I pray that you'd give them a hope and a future. And you help God. Guide them towards it. In Jesus' name. Everyone said, Amen. 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 Come on, let's praise God. 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 Let